Tommy, uh, I'm not quite sure where to begin. That was an entertaining game, but obviously topped off the most important element, which was the three points. Yeah, absolutely. You, you just put it in a nutshell. I mean, I don't know if it was an entertaining game, was it? I was part of it, but anyway. Now, listen, at the end of the day, I, I know, and I said it yesterday, I know there are, there's quality in this in the place, there's quality in the backroom staff, there's quality on the pitch, and, you know, Ben deserves credit for, for being part of the process of bringing these lads together and for setting out a lot of really, really good things at the football club. And somebody else is going to benefit from that. This group is going to improve. As, as we've been telling you, there are slight things we know. We know that th there are issues, or not issues, but, but little parts and little things we can, we can make better, you know. Um, but, you know, against a team who, or a club, sorry, who are, you know, one of the European massive ones, we've come there and we've, they're best young lads, them are. They've come to win the game. Make no doubt they wanted to win that game, I'll tell you now. Um, but, yeah, the most important thing that night was winning, and hopefully we get a, a clean bill of health afterwards, so. Talk to us about the start, obviously the perfect application to go one that up so early on through Brandon. Yeah, I mean, look, again, like I had to hop on, but the, the backroom staff had, uh, had pointed out about three three elements of where we felt we could dominate things, and so we, we implemented them, and I thought it, that worked really, really well. So to get one nose in front was really good. Um, but we know, we know it wasn't going to be a, a, an easy game. These guys are elite, elite athletes first, and then elite professional footballers. So, you know, you have to be on your metal, and it's the mental side of the game, and the fitness side, or the conditioning side of the game, that to play every week, Saturday, and then, you know, they need, they need managing, but, if the players are playing like they've just played there and applying themselves and they return to train and say they're fine, then they will go on and play again. It's as simple as that. James Taylor went off at half time. I'm mm. guessing that was slightly precautionary. He took a knock to the head, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He off. took a whack. It wasn't. It was nothing malicious. He took a knee to the, the side of the head, and I think the protocols these days are correct. And that it wasn't a tactical decision. I was told by the, the doctor that he couldn't continue. Having been told by James quite aggressively yeah. that he wanted to stay on the pitch, which I really, really liked. Getting that two-goal lead in the second half yeah. through Zane obviously give us a nice cushion in the game. Was it disappointing then to let that slip as we entered the final stages? Um, it was unfortunate to go there. I don't like the usual disappoint, but yeah, I mean, if I was disappointed, then that would be emanating on the pitch. I'm never, I'm, you know, during the 90 minutes, you have highs and lows, but you have to continue in the moment. And I just felt we knew what we were doing well, and that was giving us success. And we knew that as the game went on. If we started getting isolated 1v1 in any area of the park, that's going to be a problem. So we just tried to keep a good shape um, and ultimately, as you saw because we scored late on, we had, we had the desire um, as well as the technical ability to deliver a great ball and a great header. So from that point of view, I'm, I don't use the word delighted very often, but I was delighted with the fact that we come off the pitch with a win. And lastly, a performance like that sets the lads up perfectly now for the Saturday game, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, and again, that was something that we've, we've hopped on about over these last couple of days because I genuinely be, believe the next now three games can shape our season. Simple as that. I mean, I, listen, I'm looking that way without a shadow of a doubt, you know, and, and I'm sure um, people will be buoyed by the fact we've scored goals. Um, it'll still be critical, quite rightly, at the, the manner at the manner at which we've conceded goals. Not the fact we've conceded, because at the end of the day, you win a game 4-3, you've won the game. If you win the game 1-0, you've won the game. That was our objective. I said to them, I'm asking you for one thing, guys. Don't leave anything on the pitch. Leave it, don't leave anything out there. If we lose the game having done that, I will back these as much as, as I've backed them having won the game. And I'm, like I said, brilliant. I'm absolutely delighted. My face might be short, but I'm absolutely delighted.